Sarawakian cuisine is a regional cuisine of Malaysia. Like the rest of Malaysian cuisine, Sarawak food is based on staples such as rice but there is a great variety of other ingredients and food preparations due to the influence of the state's varied geography and indigenous cultures quite distinct from the regional cuisines of the peninsular Malaysia. Sarawak is famous for its multi-ethnic population. As the homeland of many unique communities, Sarawak has a variety of cuisines rarely found elsewhere in Malaysia. The uniqueness of Sarawak well depend on its ethnic groups. Every native group in Sarawak has their own lifestyle, traditions, cultures and also foods. Sarawak cuisine is less spicy and has a subtle in taste. It uses fresh seafood and natural herbs like turmeric, lemongrass, ginger, lime and tapioca leaves. These ingredients are not only easily available, but also add a hint of aroma, texture and freshness to the delicacies. Food is one of the most cultural identities for natives group in Sarawak with each ethnic has their own delicacies. The aban popular with tubu, stems, tuak, alcoholic beverage made from rice wine, and pansa, dish cooked with bamboo, the malay with bub or pitas, porridge, and kek lapis sarawak, sarawak layer cake, the bidaya with asam sayak, chicken rice that cooked in bamboo, and sup ponas bidaya, soup dish made of tapioca, the melanau with tabaloi, sago palm crackers, sagu, extracted from sago palm, and umai, raw fish mixed with lime juice, and orang ulu well known with garam barrio, highland salt, kika broth, tengayan, local young leaves, and uram garak pudding. Ingredients Sarawak cuisine uses rice as staples. It is most often steamed and always served with meat, fish and vegetable dishes. Rice is often enjoyed with the sauce or broth from the main dishes. Barrio rice is a famous rice in Sarawak, which is named after the Sarawakian highlands where it is cultivated. It is regarded by the natives as the best and finest rice from the highlands of Sarawak. The rice, as per the natives, is known to be eaten only by the longhouse chief on special occasion although it is now available in Sarawak restaurants. In Sarawak, rice is often fried. Nasi arak is a traditional Sarawakian Malay Nasi goreng or fried rice. Unlike common Nasi goreng, Nasi arak does not use any oil to fry the rice. The rice must be fried for longer time compared to frying rice for nasi goreng for the smoky, slightly burnt taste to absorb into the rice. Sago or sag was the traditional staple food of the Melanau people in Sarawak. The bud of the sago palm cooked as a traditional dish in Sarawak. The bud is sliced or cut up and often stewed with coconut milk and dried anchovies with spices. Linut or sago. Porridge. Made by pouring boiling hot water onto a bowl of sago starch. Normally linut will be served together with the sambal belican and another side dishes. The texture is very gooey and sticky and mostly eaten with the wooden fork. Tabaloi is a Sarawak sweet cracker made from sago starch, egg, coconut and sugar, flattened until thin and roasted until crisp. Tetube is another sago dish in Sarawak. Its traditional melanau food made form sago starch. A variety of fruits and vegetables is often used in cooking. Midan also called Stenicolina palustris or Paku midan or lemidan, is a popular vegetable in Sarawak. It is a sun-loving plant that thrives in open areas, usually on swampy land. Common habitats are disturbed forests, secondary forests, rubber gardens, oil palm plantations, river banks and roadsides. Midan is usually served in two equally delicious ways, fried with either garlic or belican, shrimp paste. Most popular dish that uses midan is midan goreng belican. Bua dabai or canarium odontophyllum in the family Bursraceae is a native fruit of Sarawak that uses in cooking. Dabai is grown exclusively on the island of Borneo, in the Rajang River basin of central Sarawak, from the interior areas of Kapit all the way out to Sibu and Sarikii on the coast. It's one of the unique foods of Sarawak. The dabai fruit is slightly bigger than a Kalamata olive, with a thin, bluish-black skin. Nasi goreng dabai is a Sarawak speciality fried rice which the main ingredient is bua dabai. The rice fried with soy sauce, garlic, shallot, chili, oyster sauce along with dabai and accompanied by other ingredient, particularly egg. The combination of tomatoes, tomato, garlic, bawang puta, and onions is found in many dishes in Sarawak. The most important spice in Sarawakian cuisine is pepper. 
Pepper is commercially produced on an industrial scale as a cash crop, and the preferred choice by local cooks when heat is wanted in a dish. Granted ghee status by Maipo, Sarawak black pepper is highly regarded by international culinary figures such as Alain Ducasse. Maize, pumpkins, and yams are widely used in Sarawakian cuisine. Maize is grown almost at the same time as paddy, while pumpkins around the tilled rice and maize fields. Yams are also grown on the peripherals of paddy farms. Meat staples include chicken, pork, beef, and fish. Seafood is popular as a result of the bodies of water surrounding the archipelago. Popular catches include sema, ikan keli, bayong, empuara and prawn. Also popular are meat from deer, wild boars and even bears. Birds can be shot with blowpipes. Guns are not often used because cartridges are beyond the means of many indigenous people. Punai is another small bird the natives of Sarawak catch with sticky nets, and eat after roasting them over a small charcoal fire. Deep-fried punai is often available as part of lelapan halal in Miri. Jungle's vegetables are found up the hills and down the valleys, and some even by the riverbanks picked out by ancestors of the natives. Palms like pantu, nipa, nibong, coconut and sago continue to be important umbat or upa or shoots the indigenous people retain as delicacies. Native cuisine differs others' cuisine in its simplicity and directness of flavor. The use of wild ginger, don bungkang and jungle leaves can bring subtle flavors to various dishes. Method of cooking Commonly, cooking methods adopted in Sarawakian food are menumis stir-frying, mengoring frying, bakar grilling, and rebus boiling. Each ethnic group in Sarawak has different styles of preparing, cooking, preserving and eating style of food. The orang ulu for instance, using garam barrio to preserve meat, fish and vegetables which is called mengasam. The aban are cooking and eating the lulan, rice which is cooked in bamboo. Other than that, the traditional cooking methods of the aban people also called pansa or pansa, which is the preparation and cooking of food in bamboo tubes. Ingredients like poultry, fish, vegetables or rice are mixed with fragrant herbs like lemongrass, tapioca leaves and bungkang leaves a species of myrtle from the Eugenia genus, then sealed within the bamboo tubes and placed directly over an open fire. The mixture need to be stuffed into the bamboo logs and chopped tapioca leaves are stuffed at the opening of the logs. Cooking food this way will infuse it with aroma and flavor from the bamboo tubes while keeping it moist. Geographically, the large forest area and style of living of the native group's traditional food were created, prepared and cooked using the natural resources. These food treasures in turn have contributed to the uniqueness of Sarawakian cuisine. Popular dishes Popular dishes in the state include Sarawak laksa, kolo mi, sayur midan belikan, tomato mi, linut and ayam pansa. The state is also known for its Sarawak layer cake dessert. Each ethnic group has its own delicacies with different styles of preparing, cooking, and eating food. However, modern technology has altered the way of cooking for native dishes. Examples of ethnic foods are Malay bubur pitas porridge, the aban tuak rice wine, and manak pansa bamboo chicken, bidaya asam sayak chicken rice, melanau tabaloi sago palm crackers, and umai raw fish mixed with lime juice, and orang ulu uram garuk pudding. The traditional food of Sarawak has been marketed as a culinary tourism product. Common dishes. Sarawak is notable for its rice, currently three varieties grown in Sarawak has been granted ghee status by Maipo. Among the foods and beverages particular to Sarawak are Akar timun Sarawak or Sarawak akar timun or pickled cucumber is one of popular Malay dish in Sarawak. It very different from West Malaysia's akar, it was preserved in vinegar and sugar for days, weeks or even months before it was served. As such, the pickles are sweet and sour and full of turmeric and other spices flavor. The juliening of the cucumber are much thinner and longer than nanya akar and they usually do not have cabbages. The julienne carrot is usually used for purposes of adding color to the akar. Another distinction of Sarawak akar is that it was eaten with karapak ikan or fish cracker. Asam sayak also pronounced, asam si yok in Bidaya language is a Bidaya chicken rice that cooked in bamboo. 
Assam Sayak is an authentic Vidaya delicacy served normally during special occasions such as Gawai and gatherings. This delightful combination of whole chicken, steam rice, salt, ginger, lemon grass, tapioca leaves and small amount of water to boil. Bi Pang is a Chinese traditional type of crispy rice cake that popular in Sarawak. Belican bihan is rice vermicelli dressed in a gravy made from ground chilies, belican, tamarind, and dried shrimp. It is garnished with cured cuttlefish, julienne cucumber, bean sprouts and century egg wedges. Bubor kapu is an aban rice flour dessert or chendal. Bubor pitas is a type of rice kanji cooked with a specially prepared spice paste, or rempa made from turmeric, lemon grass, galangal, chilies, ginger, coconut and shallots. A fairly complex and spicy dish compared to most typical kanji preparations, bubor pitas is often prepared during the month of Ramadan and served during the breaking of fast. Stir-fried kankuk manis is sayur manis or sweet leaf stir fried with red peppers, shallots, garlic, oyster sauce and egg. Don ubi tumbuk or puchik ubi tumbuk is a preparation of cassava leaves known as impasic by the aban which has the consistency of pesto, and is widely eaten among Sarawak's native communities. The pounded leaves may be sautéed with seasonings like anchovies and chili, stuffed into a bamboo tube and roasted over an open fire, or simply boiled with shallot, fat and salt. Gula mitai is Sarawak's candy floss. It's made by melting sugar and then pulling and folding it as the sugar cools, like hand-pulled noodles. Ikan Tarabak Masan is salt-preserved toli shad, which is endemic to the coastal waters of Sarawak, stretching from Semitan to Lawas. It is considered an iconic delicacy in Sarawak, and thus a prized edible gift. Kusam ensabi is a fermented vegetable pickle made from an indigenous cultivar of mustard greens ensabi, and is traditional to the Aban community. Kolo mi or mi kolak is a dish of springy egg noodles tossed in a sweet and savory shallot, lard and vinegar dressing, and topped with seasoned minced pork and char shao. It is similar to peninsular-style haka mi or wonton mi in concept, but differs significantly in taste profile. A popular variant uses rendered oil from cooking char shao to flavor kolo mi instead of plain lard, which gives the noodles a reddish hue. Halal versions of kolo mi replace the pork components with beef, earning the moniker of mi sapi, or chicken, and lard with peanut or vegetable oil. Additional toppings can include mushrooms, chicken and crab meat. Kampua mi is a similar dish from Cebu of Fuzhou origin. Kampia is Chinese bread made with meat, onions, salt and flour. A ball of flour is stuffed with a filling of other desired ingredients and flattened with a rolling pin. It is then slapped onto the sides of a traditional homemade Chinese oven and takes approximately 15 minutes to bake. Kuching Su Pao is a Chinese baked bun with meat filling. Laksa Sarawak or Kuching Laksa is noodles usually rice vermicelli, served in an aromatic spiced coconut milk soup, topped with shredded chicken, shredded omelette, bean sprouts, prawns, and garnished with coriander. This dish has received endorsement by an American celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain in 2015. Linut is a staple food for the Melanau people. It's made of the sago flour, mixing with hot or boiling water. Manak kakangma is a Chinese-influenced dish, traditionally taken by local women for confinement after giving birth. It consists of chicken pieces cooked with ginger and kakangma, often seasoned with some Chinese wine or tuak by non-Muslim cooks. Manak pansa is the most typical aban pansa preparation of chicken seasoned with bungkang leaves, lemongrass, ginger, and tapioca leaves, then stuffed into a bamboo tube and roasted in the uma avok traditional fireplace. A related bidaya dish is Assam Sayak, with the addition of rice to the chicken mixture. These dishes are not commonly found in urban eateries and restaurants due to the practicality of roasting a bamboo tube over an open fire within a typical commercial kitchen. Mi sapi is noodle dish typically uses noodles similar to kolak mi. However, mi sapi is different in the sense that it is served with a beef-based broth and topped with generous amounts of bean sprouts and beef slices. Midan, Stenicolina palustris. This is a vegetable dish where the young fronds of the fern are stir-fried with garlic, dry shrimps, or shrimp paste belican. 
Nasi Arak Sarawak is a traditional Sarawakian Malay Nasi Goreng or fried rice. Unlike Nasi Goreng, Nasik Arak does not use any oil to fry the rice. The ingredients are garlic, onion and anchovies, fried with very little oil and then rice. The rice must be fried for longer time, compared to frying rice for Nasi Goreng, for the smoky or slightly burnt taste to absorb into the rice. It is a common to see NASI Arak in the food menu list at Malay coffee shops and stalls throughout Sarawak. NASI Goreng Dubai is rice stir fried with Dubai, Canarium odontophyllum, an indigenous fruit found only in Sarawak. It is often compared to an olive, due to their similarity in appearance as well as taste. As Dubai is highly perishable and seasonal in nature, this dish is also prepared with preserved Dubai paste. Nasi Goreng Ikan Tarabak Masan is a Sarawak specialty which fried rice served with fried salt preserved toli shad. Nasi Lelapan is a rice dish that popular in Miri, Sarawak. Usually, there are one main dish either fried fish, chicken or beef slice accompanied by seven side dishes, mainly fresh veggies, ulam, tempeh, fried tofu, and sambal belican, chili blended with shrimp paste. This hot dish is served with steamed rice. Nasi mak entek is a rice dish served with chicken, baked bean, boiled egg and sambal belican, chili paste. This dish is popular in Samarahan, Sarawak. Nuba laya is cooked barrio rice which is mashed and wrapped in leaves of the Phacilophrenium maximum plant. It is considered the centerpiece of a meal for the Loon Bawang and Kelabit people. Accompaniments may include a small bowl of porridge kikid, shredded beef cooked with wild ginger and dried chili labo sanutuk, deboned shredded fish abeng, wild jungle vegetables prepared in various ways, and so on. Roti kanai goreng kapit or kapit fry flat bread is unique and popular dish in kapit, Sarawak. The flat bread is composed of dough containing fat, flour, and water that fried in oil. It's fluffy inside but crispy and flaky outside which made a good taste. It's serving hot with chicken curry and hot spicy sauce sambal. COB is Kuching's version of Su Mai. It's popular among Chinese in Sarawak. The difference between Su Mai and COB is that Su Mai contains pork and shrimps while COB is stuffed with pork only. Sup Tarung Dayak is a popular soup dish made with a native cultivar of wild eggplant, which is spherical in shape and slightly larger than a navel orange. Also called Tarunga Sam due to its natural tart flavor, this eggplant species comes in bright hues ranging from yellow to orange. Other ingredients for the soup may include fish, prawns, or fish products, dried, salted or smoked fish. Sup Paku Kubak is indigenous soups as the hairy fern soup cooked with ikan bilis anchovy, and ginger. Sup Ponas Bidaya is a bidaya soup dish made of tapioca, lemongrass and other herbs. Tabaloi is a sago biscuit snack which is traditionally associated with the Melanau people of Sarawak. Tomato mi is a noodle dish in tomato sauce. Umai is a traditional Melanau food, accompanied with a bowl of baked or toasted sago pearls. There are two different versions of umai, the traditional sambal champur and a more contemporary variation called sambal sika jeb. The former is a raw seafood salad which consists of raw sliced seafood anything from freshwater and seawater fish, prawns and even jellyfish cured in calamansi lime juice, tossed with ground peanuts, sliced onions and chilies. For umai jeb, the raw sliced seafood is undressed, and is simply dipped into a spicy sauce for consumption. Beverages Non-alcoholic beverages Tehc Pung Special is a local popular tea in Sarawak. Its names derived from the local speak for iced pung tea, teh, with evaporated milk c. This tea is an iced concoction of brewed tea, evaporated milk and gula pong nira palm sugar, syrup, carefully presented unstirred in three or more layers. Originally from Kuching, its popularity has spread to other areas of Sarawak as well as neighboring Sabah. Sarawak also popular with White Lady. White Lady is a shaved iced concoction with evaporated with milk, mango juice, longan and pineapple. 
Invented in 1975 by a Kuching hawker, multiple variations can be found in various hawker stalls throughout the city. Alcoholic beverages Tuak is a type of traditional alcoholic beverage to Sarawak's Dayak communities. It is made with glutinous rice or a mixture of fragrant rice and glutinous rice or just fragrant rice. The process of making tuak involves fermentation of the cooked rice where the starch in the rice is converted into sugar which is then fermented to produce alcohol. However, there is no accepted convention or definition on what constitutes tuak. Tuak is essentially an alcoholic drink produced by fermenting anything that contains carbohydrates, as long as it is made in Sarawak by Sarawakians. Tuak is normally served as a welcoming drink to guests, and as an important component for ritual events and festive occasions like Gawai and Christmas. Another type of a stronger alcoholic drink is called Langkau, which contains a higher alcohol content because it is actually made of tuak which has been distilled over fire to boil off the alcohol, cooled and collected into containers. Vidaya also use distilling methods to make a rock tonic, a kind of moonshine. The Bidaya in particular are known for their skill and expertise in brewing tuak. Ingredients for tuak variants include sugarcane, tapui, tampoi, a wild fruit with a sweet and tart flavor, pineapples, and apples. Tapui is an alcoholic drink which is quite similar to tuak. Because it is made out of sugarcane juice, this alcoholic drink is both smooth and soothing drink, compared to tuak and langkau. Normally, Bidaya people drink tapui right after the dinner. Cakes Kek Lapis Sarawak or Sarawak Layer Cake is a layered cake with unique patterns of interlaced of tasty layers and variety of flavors. It's the specialty of the Malay in Sarawak that serving during festive season and special occasion in Sarawak, Malaysia. They are often baked for religious or cultural celebrations such as Eid ul Fitr, Christmas, birthdays and weddings. People in Malaysia practice an open house on festival day. A unique feature of Sarawak's open houses is the modern layered cakes. Sarawak layered cake with its elaborate pattern and variety of tasty flavor is not only popular among the local but also among visitors as gifts or for own consumption. The cake got its name from its multiple layer taste and presentation, it must have at least two colors. Among the ingredients for making this cake are flour, butter or vegetable oil, milk, eggs and other ingredients required for the desired flavor. The mixture is thoroughly mixed either manually or using electric mixer. Special molds are used for cake that required elaborate design and patterns to maintain a perfectly layer thickness. The multiple layers and patterns is achieved by pouring a thin layer of different battered flavor on top of each one another before the cake are baked. Different baker has different style and presentations. Some have more elaborate patterns and motive, while others preferred simple multiple layer style. See also Sabahan cuisine Penang cuisine Malaysian cuisine List of Malaysian dishes References External links Media related to food of Sarawak at Wikimedia Commons